Hello everyone, this is Feel Good of Feel Good Gaming, and today I'll be reviewing the Satisfy Pro Gaming Grip. Now, this is my first Satisfy um, product. I heard a lot of good things about this grip, and I figured this would be a good time as any to see what it's all about. Now, here's the box. You know, it's a pretty, pretty nice box. But uh, let's see what's inside, shall we? Of course, inside here we have some thumb grips for your uh, for the the thumb parts of the uh, Joy Cons to give you a little better grip. But in my opinion, they hinder your range of motion a little bit, so. It may work for some people, but these don't work for me, so I don't. I tried them once and I hadn't used them since. So it also comes with this uh, information card right here. Uh, if you have any questions, um, it got some links that you can go to to where you can get answers for those questions. Also, it has a link where you can register there. Oh well, sorry, where you can go. And register your product on their website to get a free three-year warranty. So, pretty much, this is one of the most important things you'll get with your Satisfy product will be this card because it got the link to where you can go and register your Satisfy product for your three, um, for your three, for your free three-year um, warranty. You don't have to pay for it. All you have to do. It's just type in the link, go to it, put in the required information, and you cover for three years. So definitely do that. And of course, we cannot forget the grip itself. Now the grip is actually pretty good. Um, pretty good quality. A little odd shape, especially this side here. But there's a reason for this side being a little longer than this side over here. You know, and that helps with thumb placement and also your thumb can rest on it too. At least from my experience. Definitely um, helps uh, make th makes things more comfortable when you're gaming and uh, makes it so you can hit them button. <clears throat> sorry, you can hit them buttons better. Now also it had the way it holds the switch in place. Let's see if I can work some magic right here had these orange rubber things here on each side these hold your grip this hold your switch into the grip and surprisingly holds in there pretty good now, there have been some uh, complaints about this grip leaving, uh, scratching either the paint off the Joy-Cons or leaving a mark on the Joy-Cons. Um, I actually have, as I've used this, and the only thing I see is like there is a mark on my Joy-Con, but there's no paint, like paint being scratched off or anything like that. It's like, like the equivalent of, I guess you could say, like a tennis shoe running on the floor. You know, it leaves a black mark, but you can remove the black mark. So, I'm not really complaining about that. So, we're going to slap on the, uh, this, we're going to, not slap on, we're going to throw in the switch into the grip. And you'll see how it looks with the, uh, the switch in it. All right, we got our grip, we got the switch. You're just gonna slide it in like that. And it's just that easy to put it into your switch. And you can get a better look on how this looks. Doesn't look too bad. Let 
Looks actually pretty good. Also, also, it can uh, stand on its own. It's got a little two little legs on the bottom that helps it stand up like that. So you can actually get some good tabletop mode with this if you decide to. Although this is pretty much made for handheld. It, I just think it's kind of neat that they're doing that feature. I remember when I uh, put my switch into this grip and I grabbed it like this and I just remember I never held this switch and felt this comfortable. <laughs> like just instant comfort is pretty much what I felt when I grabbed it like this. Just instantly comfortable. I mean... And also, when I thought about it, I'm like, I want to see if this lives up to the hype. So I literally played hours on the Switch in handheld mode with this grip on. And I feel like I can go a couple more hours because I was that comfortable. My thumb wasn't all stressed out. I was hitting all the right buttons. It was just... It's an amazing feeling. And when I say this, it's it just... It, the handheld mode for the Switch is not the most comfortable thing in the world. It's not the worst thing, but it's not the most comfortable um, position. Because it's just so square-like. But when you put it into the grip, and then this grip, it feels like a true handheld console. It, Well, it is and ain't at the same time, but... When you have the grip on it and hand it like this, it, it feels like a true uh, portable console. I mean, it it's just just really a good feeling. I I can't really describe it. So let's go over the pros and cons of this kit. I mean, not kit. Sorry, let's go over the pros and cons of this grip. The pros would be instant comfort. Your thumb, your left thumb, no, the right thumb would be in the proper, because of the elongated grip on the right side, you have good thumb placement and your right thumb gets rest, rested well, gets, you know, it's get supported basically therefore it gets rested up and last longer in gameplay also it has uh the stand right it had these two little legs that helps make it it helps it stand up pretty much pretty much is a stand built in it basically and you can just sit it on your table or desk or whatever and go on your business or if you want to watch youtube or something you can do that too get some tabletop in if you want you know, whatever works for you. And it's made of actually pretty good material. The cons. Well, if you're not a person that plays a lot of handheld mode, then I would not. Well, how can I put it? If you don't play enough handheld mode, then this probably would not be a good product for you. Um, also would be the the little rubber parts that hold the grip in place can either scratch your paint from what I've been told or leave a mark on it. Now it never now it didn't scratch the the paint on my Joy Cons, but it did leave a mark on them. So there's that to consider. However, there been some there's been some uh, things going on with Satisfied. From what I heard, they're supposed to be making a newer grip that won't scratch or leave a mark on the side of your Joy-Cons. So that's good to know. But the worst thing that happened to me was it, it did leave a, a light mark on there. But So to me, the pros outweigh the cons. Got a real comfortable grip. 
built-in stand. Uh, no complaints on that. You know, I don't have complaints. The cons would be if you, you don't play enough handheld mode, this is not for you. If you don't want your potentially your Joy-Con to be either the paint either to be scratched or leave a mark on the side of your Joy-Con, um, then this is not the product for you. My final thoughts on this is this is worth the money. I would buy it. I would recommend it to my friends. Now, if the potential of it scratching your Joy-Cons or, or leaving a mark on the side or your Joy-Cons a problem, then, you know, you know, I understand you're not getting this product. But for me, there's many times that I took in this in and out and I hadn't had any problems. And the worst I got on it was just a mark on the side of the Joy-Con that I can easily clean off. I would recommend it to my friends. Also, if uh, um, once you get interested with the interested, once you like this grip and you like this grip, and you want a case that can carry both the grip and the switch, they also have bundles that they also have bundles you can buy with the grip. Also, they have uh, the cases you can buy for that hold the grip too and the switch. They have a slim version and they have a elite um, grip case. And I will have links in the description below for them. So all in all, this is a very good grip for them uh, either long handheld mode sessions or if you just want to have comfort when you play in handheld mode. I do recommend this, this grip. It's a must buy. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I appreciate everyone taking their time out today to watch my videos. I really appreciate it and it means a lot. And I wish everyone a good day. Later.